Uh, let's go with Santiago. Can run six miles in 30 minutes. Edward. Are you with it? Yes, sir. Six miles in 30 minutes. Yes, sir. How far? Ooh. Can he run? And uh, let's do an hour and a half. Somebody. Oh, what can we do to try to figure this out? Well, we could do that, but I'm going to tell you his y-intercept is going to be zero. So really, what all do we need to figure out here? The slope. Just the slope, because Santiago is starting at a, uh, a distance of zero. He's got to start at zero and then run. So all we're really trying to find out here is the slope. slope. All right. Can anybody help me find his slope? Caitlin? Uh, sure. Which one's X? The six miles or the 30 minutes? Um, six miles. Isaac? Time is almost always X. So we'll put time here. Distance here. So 30 minutes is six miles. So I got one point. How can I get another point? Pedro? My man, is an hour is how many? Sixty. Try again. An hour is what? Did you say sixty? Is that what you said? Okay. Yeah. So we could do sixty minutes. How many miles would he run in sixty minutes? Bella. Good. Twelve. Because isn't 30 twice the number, I mean 60 twice the number 30? 6 is times 2 is 12. Good, now we're getting somewhere. We've got to get to one and a half hours. Well, how many hours are we at so far? One hour. One hour. We need to get a half more hour. What can we do? 25. What? 25. Multiply what times 2? 60. Nope, that would be two hours. That's too much. Brady? Add 30 more minutes. If we add 30 more minutes, wouldn't that be 90 minutes? 90 minutes is an hour and a half. What do I need to add here? Six more. How many miles? So in one and a half hours, Santiago could run 18 miles. Now I got a question. We never found the slope. Does anybody know what the slope is here? I'm going to give you a hint. It's not 6 over 30. It is not 6 over 30. Caitlin? It's going to be... Uh, Help her out, Riga. Um, 3 over 10? Nope. Bella? Five and nope. Six. Martinez? Nope. You were going with one fifth? Two of one? Nope. Next. I'll right, give it to you. Here's the slope for Santiago's problem 12 over 1. Why is it 12 over 1? Look right here. 12 miles in one what? Hour. Are you with me? That is his slope. He can do 12 miles in one hour because he can do 6 miles in half of an hour. Are you with it? So for this problem, the equation would be y equals 12x. And then watch this. 
pick up your calculator. If I plug in 1.5 hours, multiply 12 times 1.5. If we did it right, we should get the correct answer of 18. Yeah, 18. Do we get 18? It's an 18. So that problem's slightly tricky, but here's the, here's the key. You convert this, what they give us, into the slope. If he can do six miles in 30 minutes, then he can do 12 miles in one hour. Does that make sense? Yes. Someone. Ah, right, questions. The rest of it, you shouldn't have any problems.